I'd like to talk about megatrends this morning. I'd like to talk about four that are impacting all of our lives. The first megatrend is exploding world population. The second one is the declining general health of the world. The third one is escalating health care costs around the world. And the fourth one is the escalating sovereign debt. Now, what is sovereign debt? That's a debt incurred by any major nation. It doesn't, doesn't cover all of your debt, but it's just a national debt. And by the way, these are all interlinked. Now, let me show you some statistics. Now, I should say that you're going to see some things that are fairly ugly. I showed my wife this. She says, you can't use those slides. Those are dark and dreary. I said, well, there's two sides to the presentation. I want to take you through the reality of what we're living in today. And then I want to give you some hope because I think there's some positives on the other side. Let me show you a chart that's a little, uh, it's dramatic. If you go back two and a half million years ago and look at the population of this, of this globe, look what happened for two, almost two and a half million years. And look what happened in the last 500 years. The population has exploded. In my lifetime alone, the population of this globe has tripled. They're projecting 10 billion or more before the year 2050. Current trends will take us there in the year 2040. The exploding world population coupled with other augmenting factors is stressing the human ecosystem. And general health is declining around the world because of that. Let me show you US statistics. They're trending up alarmingly in the United States. Over the last 20 years, the incidence of asthma has doubled. Learning disabilities have doubled. Diabetes has tripled. Autism has increased in every state in the union from 200% to 7,000%. Nearly half of all Americans suffer some chronic disease and it accounts for 85% of our health care spending. Population has doubled since the 1940s and get this statistic. The number of diabetics has increased more than 20 times. Population has doubled. Number of diabetics has gone up 20 times. Now this is the track. This is what's projected for the United States over the next uh, few years, up until the year 2030. 6% uh, per year growth in disease. The population is growing roughly at 1.1%. Now let's leave that for a minute and talk about the escalating health care costs. I told you this was gloomy, right? <laughs> this is a little bit dark. So health care costs are, uh, globally are growing, uh, they're growing everywhere, but more so in the United States. We have the highest health care costs in the world here, and yet we get very low marks. The World Health Organization ranks the United States 37th for performance. Now, Mike Levitt, who was the governor of Utah when we moved back to Utah a number of years ago, and he went on to become the Secretary of Health and Human Services, said this. He says, American medicine is on a collision course with the future as a result of steadily rising costs. Some of you heard me say this before. I was born in 1939. Now you know how old I am. 72. Almost. 72. Healthcare costs as a percent of GMP when I was born were 4%. Most of you know my son, Tyler. When he was born, they were 8%. Now, he has kids that are being born 16%. When th their kids are being born, so give it another 15 years or so, 25%. But guess what? The numbers now jump to 30 to 35%. Mike Levitt also said this. He said, until we begin to pursue prevention and staying healthy with the, with the same rigor that we give treatment, our health care cost problems will persist. Let's talk about escalating sovereign debt and what that means. The bottom red line is not the United States. That's Spain, and that doesn't look very good. The next red line, if you look up there closely, that's the United States going up. And by the way, you can see on the far right corner, U.S. is up 70% 70, 70 from 2000 to 2008. The current U.S. sovereign debt exceeds $14 trillion dollars and it's 35% worse than the Great Depression. Now, we didn't learn very much, did we? Going through the Great Depression, 35% worse than the Great Depression. And by the way, our total debt for this country totals $55 trillion. Now, this is a busy slide, so let me tell you what this is. 
Many of you have probably called this up. This is the U.S. debt clock. That number right there is the $14.7 $14 trillion in debt that this country has right now. If you add the other line that I've just bolded up here, that's the other debt that occurs in this country. So this is personal debt and all those kind of things. They add up to about $55 trillion, okay? Let me add you another number. If you look at the one in red, that's the total amount of money we spend to service the debt. And that's about $4 trillion. So if you do the math on that and you factor in how much we're spending for our national debt, we spend over a trillion dollars, probably a trillion one or a trillion two on the debt. Now here's an here's a ugly number. How much money do you think we take in all tax revenues this government a year? $1.1 trillion. What do we pay out to service a debt? More than $1.1 trillion. There's no abatement in sight. The gap is widening. Let me show you what's happening. Today, only 15% of private sector workers have a pension plan. 39% had one in 1980. So people are saying, the government will take care of me. Someone else will take care of me. The number of uninsured Americans soaring out to over 50 million. The economy is still firmly in recession. Unemployment is still running over 9%. The real rate is 15 to 16 percent. The second prime reset bubble is about to burst. And four million homes are on the market right now today. Now, this is all the gloomy stuff. We're going to end this. We're going to be positive, right? The answer is this industry. The answer is this product. And the answer is this opportunity. And the answer is your com commitment to become, right? Let me talk a little bit about the industry. It's really, in my opinion, extraordinary. Now, this is going to sound like a strategist, and I want it to. This industry is all about how you leverage personal, personal assets yourself and company resources. How do you leverage us to drive above average income? It generates above average financial returns for the company that aligns themselves with principles that optimize the business model. It's almost recession-proof. And more importantly, it engenders human development and aligns with drivers that enable self-actualization. In other words, it builds people. It underscores the importance of the culture we're creating here and why it's important for us to build a certain culture. It underscores the relative importance of becoming. So there's a whole development side of ASEA that is really important to us and should be important to you. And it further valid validates our industry and our shared business model. So let's talk a little bit about the business model. First, it's very lucrative, above average income potential for those that want to work. Only 12% of the people in this industry work over 12 hours a week. 20% of home-based entrepreneurs report income between $100,000 and $500,000. Now, you link those two together and what do you have? If you're working over 12 hours a week, you're probably in that group of people reporting $100,000 to $500,000 in income a year, right? Where else can you make that kind of money? It's, it's very lucrative for those people that want to work. You couple the benefits of the industry with four key factors, and I believe you have a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity with ASEA. These factors will drive unparalleled growth and momentum. The factors are strength of the ASEA product. The second one is the management team that we're assembling here around ASEA. Third one is the growing ASEA tool set. It gets better every single day. And the tools that, that we've come out with this last year are much better than we had a year ago, by far. And the last is you. You and your commitment to personal and professional growth. Occasionally, about every decade or so, a company comes along in the MLM world that changes everything. ASEA is poised to change everything in this industry. Company less than two years old, profitable in the first year. Now, remember this, 40% of all startup companies fail in the first year. By the second year, 60% have failed. In this industry, 90% fail in the first year. This company was profitable in the first year. On track to more or less double this year. 
We're planning to more than double next year. And growth rate will accelerate as soon as we hit international expansion. This company will hit the billion dollar mark and more. There's no question about it. Now the athletic benefits alone are gonna drive the sea around the world in record time, I think, because you can't stop it. When athletes find out they gotta have this product, they're gonna get it. They're not gonna be compromised in a competition. They're going to want to have it. In closing, I'm still touched by Patanjali's words. When you're inspired by some great purpose, some extraordinary project, all your thoughts break their bounds and your mind transcends limitations. Your consciousness expands in every direction. You find yourself in a new, great, and wonderful world. Dormant forces, faculties, and talents become alive and you discover yourself to be a greater person by far than you ever dreamed yourself to be. I see is a great purpose. And during these uncertain times that we're all facing, Let's take control of our own lives. And let's make a difference for ourselves and for those around us. Thank you.